cool pictures inside of what it used to look like back in the day so that's what it looks like all right you guys so we are we are at the antique mall some of you have asked where it's at it is in oklahoma city uh address is in the description but we're gonna go uh put a few things out i've got this little shelf i need to put out and a little box of items We just passed uh, the toy booth, which I'll come around here and start from where it starts. So, let's see. So here is the very beginning of it right here with these VHS. The little shelf with a few things on it. Uh, we have this really cool rack that Xena found when she was out working, full of plush. We found this at a uh, this stand at a Goodwill for 15 bucks. What a killer deal! Holds all of our comic books. Xena pretty much takes care of all the plush and the comic books. And here we are. This is kind of what I call like the girl side. Lots of slightly more feminine things. We got uh, troll dolls. Lots of little dolls. There's some Cabbage Patch stuff down there. random hanger. That's what happens when you don't come in for a week or so. Got some other stuff here. That's kind of like the back of things, but there's a few dolls up there. Here is the video games. Got this really cool um, cabinet from uh, Kayla. She's the lady, her and her husband run this place. And I bought this from her for 50 bucks. And then my brother-in-law got me a second one, which we keep all of our cards in. There's lots of graded Pokemon cards. And there's lots of MetaZoo. If you guys aren't familiar with MetaZoo, go check it out. It's a pretty cool game. And some sports cards. A little bit more of the feminine stuff. Barbies. That cool bedtime Barbie back there. Hunchback. A few other things. There's Mary Kate hanging out in the Jeep. Not where she belongs find a better spot for her and here is this rack this big shelving unit thing i got this from um facebook marketplace it came from a store called justice it's a, a clothing store for girls i guess i've never heard of it before but uh, the lady that i bought it from her daughter used to work at that store and it had closed so they took a bunch of the fixtures and were flipping them on eBay, and that's how I ended up with them. Or, I mean, not eBay, on Facebook Marketplace. This little blue shelf down here with VHS on it, I built that myself um, just to give me a little bit more shelf space uh, on the floor. And you can see there's more VHS hanging out there. A few things out of, out, of, out of order that don't belong where they are, but, you know, that's to be expected. Let me put this guy back real quick. So here's the other side of that rack it's got uh, we put a lot of board games on it we've got some harry potter stuff we do pretty well with harry potter stuff in here just some games and such you know random toys games anything fun anything nerdy we're into it we love selling this kind of stuff it's kind of like i get to have my own toy store so some months it does really really well some months not so much but getting to have my own 
kind of a toy store. It's super fun for me. I also got this rack from my brother-in-law. Um, it was also from a GameStop. And we take all these little toys that we'll buy like boxes or buckets of toys at yard sales or wherever. And we bag them up and put a dollar or two dollars on them and we do pretty well on them. We also have Pogs. Do you guys remember Pogs? I used to love playing this game when I was a kid. We have some packs with just Pogs. And there are also some packs like this one here. It has a slammer in it. So, uh, sell a lot of those. Normally when people buy them, they buy several. Oh, we have a casualty. There's some more, lots of Hot Wheels, things like that. And then this is, I've got a few Nerf guns left. I had this side of this rack was filled with Nerf guns at one time. And uh, so I've slowly sold them off. I've got a few vintage shirts. These are vintage polos. They are single stitch. A couple of t-shirts, single stitch also. Um, we've got ALF up there. I bought this from Dawn and Carrie, American Arbitrage, um, on their whatnot sale. I actually already have one, so I decided to sell that one. We've got Hercules and Xena up here. A few Funko Pops. Ninja Turtles. I need to find some more Ninja Turtle stuff. Fill out that shelf a little more. Some video gaming books and Skylanders. I've got a bunch of Skylanders I need to get brought up here. we got a little dinosaur shelf. We try to kind of categorize as much as we can. We've got a lot of Marvel stuff. We've got lots of uh, like manga books. Pokemon stuff. Some DC. Star Wars. Star Wars is relatively easy to find, so we do keep quite a bit of Star Wars stuff in here, and it sells pretty well. Got some Power Rangers and other robots, and uh, just a few DVDs and such down here. So that's the toy booth. We also have this booth. We got lucky. This one opened up. This is actually smaller. The toy booth, you can see, it's pretty long. It goes all the way down there where you can see that Mickey Mouse bunny rabbit right there. This one's pretty long. It's actually a double. There's a line right here. That's where this booth over here is supposed to start. But we just kind of pushed it back since we pay for all of it and made it a little bit smaller. So, but these cube shelves, Zena's beautiful artwork. She loves picking up artwork and putting it in here. Um, this little baker's rack, the little small baker's rack, is what is going, is where this white shelf is going to go. We're going to sit that down here and then put that on top of it today. That's a one of the missions we wanted to get done before we went to Vegas. So lots of glassware in here. We have pretty good luck with these, like uh, like there's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, Smurf glasses. Those kind of glasses we sell pretty well, pretty frequently. We sell them for like six or seven, sometimes eight dollars. We've got, this is the Tupperware. You can see that uh, thermos is out of place. We'll get that moved. Lots of Tupperware. And lots of other glassware, barware cool bar glasses, a couple of steins. Here's like our Budweiser shelf. This crazy guy, I picked him up on my way to work one time. I don't know why I bought him, but he's been sitting here for quite some time. We've got some cars like die cast and such. Old collectible type cars. There's a cast iron trolley back there. It's kind of a mess. We need to do a big reset in here and get it all cleaned up. These hummingbird feeders are so beautiful. My mother-in-law gave these to us to sell and do as we please with. Gorgeous. Haven't sold one yet, but they've only been down here for like uh, two weeks, I think. So here's our other baker's rack. This one we keep filled with a lot of Corningware, Francoma items. We had on this top shelf here, my mother-in-law had also given us some of those creepy looking clowns with the porcelain faces. There was four of them, they filled that thing, and somebody came in and bought one, and then the next thing we know, all the other three were all gone all of a sudden. So apparently someone was really excited to buy them, is what the uh, uh, Kayla, the lady that runs the place, she, she told me how excited they were to buy them. I was like, okay, <laughs> we'll take it. Lots more glassware. This is what we do, you know, this is our like more traditional side. Zena really, really enjoys this kind of stuff. I like all the uh, like corning wear and stuff like that. And move this out of, out of the way a little. Yeah, this this side needs a little. It needs a little bit of a rework. I definitely need to do some cleaning today and straightening. So 
some things are just a little out of whack, but that's okay. That is to be expected. People come in shop and they pick something up and then go, oh, where did I pick this up at? So very common, but that's all right. Normally it's not too bad. I love this pot set right here, enamel pot set. It's a four pot, uh, stock pot and like three uh, smaller pots with the lids. The hurricane. I love this, this is so cute. So I waved my wand and there stood a beautiful princess. So adorable. It's uh, from Singer Sewing Machine Company. Um, Zena found all of these animals. They're so pretty. We really like them. We just don't have anywhere to put things like this in our home. And it's like, like this, it's just way too delicate to, to ship. Where's this one? This is Linux. I think most of these are Linux. Yes, the lions are Linux, pandas Linux. This is by Andrea, I don't know. Andrea by Sadek, but they're all really beautiful. Um, yeah, so those are cool. But all right, well, I'm gonna get to straightening and putting out new product in this shelf and we'll, uh, I'll put you guys off to the side and you can kind of watch me work a little bit. do we have? Are they all girl stuff? Let's see. Let's make a spot for you guys up here. There we go. It's not every day that happens. <laughs> Oh wait, we need to fix this hot mess. This is how we sell cards. We have Pokemon cards, 250, there's 15 cards in here. They do have a hollow in them each. Some of them have some of the really good cards like EXs and GXs. We like to give the kiddos or whoever buys them a nice little surprise from time to time. So it's kind of like when you buy them uh, new in a retail location where you can get a uh, a really cool card from time to time so we've got Yu-Gi-Oh cards Pokemon magic cards lots of little like 80s 90s baseball cards these are a dollar a pack for it's either 15 or 18 whatever I can fit in there got 
some stuff that's tipped over here, like always. It looks terrible. Put you in the back. There we go. Yeah. So we do really well with those. Another thing that we do really well with, this does not belong here. I wish it did. It's pretty cool. I know where that goes. I'll take that when I leave. But if I can turn this darn cart. Let's fix this real quick. Here we go. So another thing that we make a lot of money off of is these stickers. This is all just a random mix of stickers. I'll buy several different categories at a time. We price them at a dollar a piece. We have made well over $100 in some months just in stickers. People come in and buy, we need a few more down there, but uh, people will come in and buy them for a dollar a piece and buy them for their water bottles or their laptop or whatever. So um, yeah, that's a, a good money maker for us. Oh, look at that. Oogie Boogie's up here hanging out. Let's put him where he belongs. All right, let me get you back set up. Hopefully you'll stay right there. Cool. All right, let's see. Gamer book. Where do we want to put you? What right here? What else? Do Farside and Calvin and Hobbes, we do really well with these. Um, these are not in the greatest condition, but uh, that's why I priced them a little lower at seven bucks a piece, so they should do just fine. Do you guys remember these? I, re I don't remember this exact, this Godzilla one, but it's the uh, hangs on you, you like, goes in where your window is on your car and it hangs and you put your drink in it. This is from, is it Taco Bell? I can't remember what restaurant this is from. Let me see if it says. It does not, but this came, this did come from a restaurant. I looked it up on eBay and it would do okay on eBay, but there's a few too many, so I decided to put it in here, but. I had to write car cup holder on it because I just don't know that everybody will know what it is. One rogue pack of Pokemon cards, but that's it guys. That's what we do. We come in, we normally bring a lot more stuff. We'll come in, replenish, straighten things up a little bit, and then uh, head on out. So having a booth is, I don't want to say easy because getting them set up is a ton of work. I spent weeks and weeks getting just the toy booth set up in the very beginning. I've had both of these booths for a little over two years now, actually almost three years now, and uh, I really enjoy it. Um, sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, we have to get down to the booth. We keep forgetting um, because we're so wrapped up doing other reselling things, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of almost like storage that pays for itself in a way, because it does, it pays for itself. And then we have all this really cool stuff um, and we get to display it and then come in and look at it and looking at the reports, seeing what sells, it's a lot of fun. So we both really enjoy it and uh, we will probably continue to do it for quite some time. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I appreciate it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little different, but some of you have asked about it. So I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a quick peek of what it looks like and how we do things. So appreciate you being here. If you would like subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Bye.